Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Now as you know that uh, most of the engineering branches that usually develop from the science branches because science uh, basically tells us that uh, why it is happening and how it is happening and uh, engineering is the application of science. So if you look at the uh, chemical engineering that has been developed from the chemistry like you know physics. Uh, that we have electronics, electrical engineers, then uh, we have material science, we have uh, development of metallurgy, engineering and mechanical engineering. So engineering is uh, basically that is uh, um, that uh, deals with the application of a kind of science. So I will be discussing on the different aspects of biochemical engineering and uh, and this biochemical engineering mostly uh, deals with the different biochemical processes. The first I try to explain what are the different biochemical processes and then I want to give you the difference between the uh, <coughs> chemical engineering and biochemical engineering. Then also I try to <coughs> tell you that what are the how this uh, uh, biochemical process and chemical process they differ from each other and finally I want to discuss the details of this course content. So initially that uh, let me tell you that uh, what is the what do you mean by biochemical process? Biochemical process is the essential part of many food, chemical and pharmaceutical industries. Now if you look at this is the food, chemical and pharmaceutical industries. Let me give the example that uh, if you look at the food industry, I, I, uh, we know that uh, cheese making industry. Now cheese making industry what we are basically doing we are we produce the cheese uh, for the preservation of milk and protein which is very very good diet very, very important diet for our uh, health. So, uh, so this is the process through which you can preserve the food and also sour curd there is another kind of product the fermented product through which we can preserve the vegetables in the natural color because the vegetables if we preserve in a longer period of time then either we go for drying process or, or use some kind of preservative. If you go for drying process it undergoes some kind of Brownian reaction and due to Brownian reaction color of the vegetable will be changed that is undesirable. But if you if you in the sour curd we use some kind of lactic acid bacteria and lactic acid acts as a preservative where the green color of the vegetable we can preserve for longer period of time. Then I want to talk about the chemicals that if you look at the uh, different biochemical industry that we can involve for the producing different chemicals like lactic acid, citric acid, we have ethanol. So different type of chemicals can be produced through this, uh, 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 this biochemical processes. Now uh, and in the pharmaceutical industries we, uh, we produce a lot of uh, antibiotics because in the day to day life when we, are, we, we have some health problem we go to the doctor and doctor prescribe some kind of an antibiotics for curing the disease. Now biochemical process make use of how, how these products are formed by using the micro, microbial cells, animal cells and the plant cells. These are the different living cells. They, they, they can be used for producing this kind of products and not only living cells some of the biomolecules which produce from the living cells that may also use for the production of uh, certain chemicals. As for example I meant that enzymes which is usually secreted from this particular living sources that can be utilized for producing different type of products. So I can give a typical example that high fructose corn syrup where glucose is converted to fructose. Why glucose is converted to fructose? It has two advantages. One is the fructose has the more sweeter 
uh, then uh, glucose. So, but for diabetes patient, this is mostly recommended. And another thing is that for the preparation of the medicinal tonic, that if you use the glucose as the medicinal tonic, as you know, it comprises of some amino acids and vitamins, which are very much heat sensitive. So, naturally, we shall have to preserve this in the at a low temperature in the freeze. So, at low temperature, when you have the sugar syrup or you know glucose syrup, you will find some kind of crystal crystal formation of the glucose will take place, which is undesirable. Now, if we have the fructose syrup, then fructose even at low temperature, it will not crystallize, it will remain in the in the uh, liquid form. And another thing is that it is more sweeter. So, this is the desirable characters that we have. That is how it is used mostly in the confe confectionery industry as well as pharmaceutical industries. Now, next is the, the biochemical engineering. What is biochemical engineering? Biochemical engineering may be considered as a multidisciplinary field that implements the engineering principles to design and operate the unit processes required to successfully produce high quality bioproducts. Because you know that for the operation of the process, we required some unit processes. What are the unit processes we have? As for example, bioreactor, because in the bioreactor, it is kind of unit process. We use some kind of pumps uh, and uh, uh, the, the sterilization, uh, some you know that there are different purification also we have. So, different unit processes are involved to get the different uh, pure products. So, this uh, biochemical engineering will deal with everything. This is this, uh, how this different uh, this unit operations that can be handled. So, and another is the chemical engineering principles uh, plays a central role. Now, this is this is this is to be highlighted that uh, the if you if you if you look at the chemical engineering principles plays the central role to produce the biochemical products on a large scale for for marketing in purified form so basically we are using the chemical engineering principles in this uh, process now question come how you are applying the chemical engineering principles because we know the uh, i told you that you know chemical engineering develop from the chemi chemical reactions and chemical reactions like this A plus B reacts to give C plus D. Now, when it produces the product, we, we can develop some rate equation. When we de develop the rate equation, we have rate constant order of reaction. From that, we can do the reactor analysis. Through the reactor analysis, we can we use this rate equation, that rate, that rate equation, and then we find out the volume of the reactor. So this is the how we can we can we can for suppose we want to produce four tons of citric acid but through by using aspergillus niger. So you know that uh, this can be uh, produced. Uh, we can find out through this analysis that what will be the size of the reactor for getting the four tons of byproducts, both in the batch process as well as continuous process it can be done. So these are the this information that I want to we want to give you through this project. So, and uh, at the end of this project, you will be developing the expertise for doing this particular analysis. Now, next is that I want to uh, give you the differences between the chemical engineering and biochemical engineering. Now, chemical engineering, if you look at that, uh, it deals with the synthetic or the chemical processes. As for example, that uh, uh, I, I, I can, I can acid and alkali, uh, the, when they react with each other, they form the salt. This is, or you know, if you, if you, if you, I consider when, uh, when burning of coal in presence of oxygen, when coal burns, it produces uh, carbon dioxide and water. This is kind of pure chemical reaction that we have. Or if you look at nitrogen and ammonia, uh, in presence of catalysts, it produces the ammonia, uh, uh, nitrogen and hydrogen when it is combined, it produces the ammonia which is largely used in the uh, for fertilizer industry for the production of different fertilizer. Now, uh, now these, are the, these are the purely chemical processes that we have. In the biochemical process, they mostly deal with the biological organisms. And 
their biochemical pathways. Now, bio, biochemical, biological organisms, they are very sensitive. They are, they are, they are very sensitive, uh, and and you know that every every organism they have the metabolic pathways. As for example, if we take glucose, it uh, it goes through the metabolic pathways. What you call endon myro pathway, and in through the endon myro pathway, it produces the pyruvic acid. And this pyruvic acid, when passed through the TCA cycle or Krebs cycle, it produces the carbon dioxide. And this is how we get the energy in the form of ATP, ADP, ADP or NADH, like this, the different energy molecules forms in our body. So, <coughs> so this is the, and you know, if you look at the metabolic pathways, then you will find the different metabolized form during this. Uh, so, we can, if we manipulate this pathway, we can, we can easily piece out our desired product from the, uh, the, this metabolic pathways. So, you know, that this is, uh, this is how this bio biological organism can be nurtured for the producing different kind of bio products. Then it in the chemical process is involved the design and operation of industrial manufacturing plants because how in the bigger plant that you know it can be handled those kind of information that chemical engineering gives and in the biochemical industry we study the behavior of the living cells you know that uh, as for example that I can I can I can give you that uh, living system that uh, behavior of the living system is uh, something different as compared to the non-living system because uh, living systems should be carefully handled and this can be uh, this can be handled only if we develop the feelings for the living system i can i can i can I give you a typical example uh, that you know if you look at the relationship between mother and the baby and mother and the ba baby is with the mother from the zero hour so mother has great feelings or the baby so anything goes happen uh, it happens to the baby mother always uh, uh, understands what is the problem with the baby but so same thing when you when you handle any kind of living system we should also develop kind of feelings for the living system otherwise we cannot handle we should know under what circumstances it should work in a proper manner so it's not like non-living system, they just you add A plus B and give the product C plus D. It is not like this. So you have to handle here organism. Only the difference is that that in terms of chemical process, suppose we want to produce any kind of product, you're, you have to have the specific raw materials is required for product formation. But in the biochemical process, it's totally different because from a particular simple compound like glucose, we can produce any number of products. The glucose can be converted to citric acid, glucose can be converted to acetic acid, glucose can be converted to lactic acid, glucose can be converted to ethanol. So, any number of products we can produce. Only what you do, we change the uh, organism, the living organism. So, living organism that uh, name, as for example, when we produce citric acid, we use the aspergillus niger to convert the glucose to citric acid. We, when we use the lactic acid, we use the lactobacillus delbruchii, which convert the glucose to a lactic acid. Now, when we use uh, the suppose acetic acid, we use the acetobacter aceti, which convert the uh, uh, ethanol to. Uh, but the, the first initially, the acetic acid uh, ethanol is produced through the Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which convert glucose to ethanol. And then subsequently, when you use the acetobacter aceti then acid, the ethanol is converted to acetic acid. So, what I want to highlight that uh, basic difference between the biochemical and chemical process is that the chemical process, one raw, ma raw materials is remaining more or less same and only we change, we, by changing the organism, we can get the end number of products. In the chemical process, as your product changes, your raw material changes. If, if your product is complicated, your raw materials will be complicated. I can give a very typical example. Another example is in antibiotics formation, like penicillin. If we want to penicillin production, that uh, uh, we, we, we use the glucose in the fermentation broth, uh, but at the same time, uh, we use some kind of precursor like um, um, phenyl acetic acid or phenoxy acetic acid and get the product like this. So, so but uh, in, if you if you use in a chemical process, uh, first of all, penicillin is, uh, is, uh, is very difficult to produce chemically, um, but uh, if you use some kind of complex chemicals, we, your raw materials will be 
also complex as your raw material will be complex your cost of the raw materials also will be very more uh, will be very uh, very high now in the in the chemical process another thing that we have the reactants form products in the presence of chemical catalyst and in the biochemical engineering the the product formation takes place with the help of biological catalyst now what is the difference between the chemical catalyst and the biological catalyst chemical catalyst we have platinum palladium nickel they they can take part in number of reaction different type of reaction they can take care but if you look at the bi biochemical catalyst or biological catalyst they they are very specific as for example if you if you look at glucose isomerase enzyme they can act only glucose and produce uh, fructose they cannot convert fructose to glucose so they are very specific as per substrate is concerned now <coughs> if i if i uh, uh, like in you know, a protease that uh, that only act on the protein molecule for the degradation of protein it will not degrade the starchy molecule so they are very specific as per such as substrate is concerned now chemical reaction occurred at high temperature and high pressure and since is required high temperature and high pressure naturally it is energy intensive as uh, now in in case of biochemical process is occurred at ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure because now this is very important because um, so since it is ambient temperature as for as for atmospheric pressure the, the we are less energy intensive the energy point of view this biochemical process is very attractive also substrate point of view also very attractive substrate we required mostly the glucose sucrose type of materials which is largely available and not only largely available that is renewable that can be we can produce again and again through the agricultural product formation so if you look at the biochemical process it can be divided into three part one is uh, feedstock feed stock may be anything it may be gas it may be liquid it may be solid now bio processing we have bio catalyst we have bio reactor and re recovery of product so now now here we required the cell that microbial cell uh, it may be plant cell it may be my uh, the microbial cells it may be the animal cell any any anything can you, we can use and then we we do the uh, product purification so Uh, we can broadly differ it in the three parts one is uh, your uh, this is the main part where the reaction take place that where the biochemical reaction take place and before the biochemical reaction take place we shall have to prepared our feed stock and this uh, this whole whole unit we call it upstream processing and then after the product formation then we call the puri purification of products so it can be divided into three part one is upstream processing bio processing then downstream processing upstream processing which feed the raw materials to the process and in the uh, in the downstream processing it mainly deal with the purification of products now uh, biochemical engineering principles can be applied in three different areas as for example fruit processing fruit processing i i already explain uh, the how it is used in the food processing i have given the example of cheese making industry and the sour cut then agricultural production that uh, we will largely use as for example i can i can i can give the example of bio insecticides that you know because you know that usually we use the lot of pesticides in the agricultural uh, to increase the agricultural production now pesticides is such a uh, chemicals if we if we if we take in our system it accumulate in our system which has the carcinogenic property but bio, bio insecticides that uh, is something different it is kind of uh, delta protein and which also has uh, 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 that kills a pest so you know if you use the bio insecticide then what is happening even we take in our body it is kind of protein that will not harm in our system so that is that is how it can be used in the agricultural sector now another important uh, product that we have the gm food that is the genetically modified food and as we are living in the fastly populated country that uh, a time will come when our land will be insufficient to produce the significant amount of the desired amount of product so naturally we shall have to you know, reduce the 
we shall have to try to use uh, the food in a manner so the small amount of food will be good enough uh, for our survival so this is possible if we if we enrich our food as for example particularly we know in case of vegetable food the vegetable protein the utilization efficiency is very less why it is less because the essential amino acids in the the agricultural protein is the less and that reduce the uh, utilization efficiency so if we increase that if whatever amino acid essential amino acid is the deficiency is there if we increase that uh, particular protein the utilization efficiency of the protein will increase uh, drastically this is how we can improve biochemical way now uh, this biochemical uh, processes can be used for the production of different chemicals i have given all the already the examples of ethanol citric acid acetic acid lactic acid all these thing different type of ethanoic acid all can be produced through the biological means the healthcare we i i have given the typical example of different antibiotics like penicillin largely used you, you know that due to invention of penicillin it is becoming easier to cure our infection particularly uh, all the athletics uh, all the soldiers when they involved with kind of interaction they get, they have some kind of injury and during the injury they have some uh, pus formation due to the infection of the gram positive bacteria by using penicillin it can be cured so this has so a lot of antibiotics nowadays we use if we our health has some kind of problem we go to the doctor doctor prescribe some kind of antibiotics for the rectification of that particular disease now energy sector that biochemical process has a greater role to play because the fossil fuel resources will be exhausted very soon because it has this has the limited reserve so different uh, renewable energy sources are explored bioenergy is one of the area uh, pay, paying a lot of attention as per india is concerned and uh, as you know that uh, particularly um, the in the in the in the gasoline that uh, government recommended that 10 to 20% the gasoline is to be replaced by the ethanol now if we reduce the, then our gasoline consumption will be reduced significantly then environmental protection there is another <coughs> very important uh, area because uh, because uh, because we have a very great concern because particularly we uh, we can uh, we can think about the paris convention where all the most of the country they agreed to uh, to safeguard the environment particularly i want to i want to talk about this carbon dioxide content in the air and uh, india also signed the agreement that we should we should uh, <coughs> control the carbon dioxide in the air so that if we increase the carbon dioxide content in the air the temperature will increase what do you call the greenhouse effect and due to this uh, increase of temperature there is a possibility of uh, melting of uh, ice in the northern uh, have spared have spared then that causes uh, the high hike in the rise level uh, and we know some of the western country is almost at the sea level so if the water uh, sea level increases uh, those country will be under the water so this is a great concern throughout the world so we have a lot of applications that we have with the biochemical engineering principles in the different areas then what are the advantages of the biochemical products that also i want to highlight that that first important thing is that this is uh, this is sustainable this is uh, sustainable means this process we can we can we can uh, have you know long, for a longer period of time because the raw materials that is used that is that will be available with us because that will not be exhausted very soon and another very important thing is that is less carbon and water footprint less carbon and water footprint is very important because water consumption because we know that as the as the time passes on that uh, water uh, water consumption will significantly will decreases and uh, and uh, this uh, carbon uh, and water footprint plays very important role create uh, the rural employment opportunity this is very important the reason is that uh, that you know that uh, this can be used for the smaller scale and bigger scale application less emission of pollution to the environment this is also very important because pollution the pollution which is coming out uh, that should be as low as possible biodegradability is very and recyclability is very important i can give the example of plastics 
uh, it's not biodegradable but you use the bio uh, bioplastics the biopolymer this can be easily biodegradable so it can be uh, uh, safe our environment and high productivity and raw materials from the local sources that also very important because if it is available from the local sources then we can uh, use it very easily so of course the objective is that we want to uh, use the basic concept of the microbiology we we use the basic concept of the microbiology biochemistry chemical and biochemical reaction kinetics uh, also we applied uh, uh, so initially we'll start the course with the uh, microbiology we'll give the preliminary information on microbiology then with the biochemistry and chemical and biochemical reaction kinetics this is a different information we'll give because we'll give more stresses on chemical and biochemical reaction kinetics to understand the process much uh, in a depth and then apply the chemical engineering principle in the bioreactor analysis and design upstream downstream processing and uh, bioprocess optimization and control so these are the different uh, areas we will we'll, we'll cover in this particular course now scope and relevance of the course is several we have biochemical engineering mostly deals with the complicated life system uh, i have already explained that what do you mean by complication like this in the life system you have we shall have to develop some kind of feelings for the process otherwise we cannot handle the process uh, very nicely then then describe the behavior of any li life system in terms of mathematical form i i i i told you that mathematical representation of a process is called mathematical modeling we try to give the models develop some kind of modeling of the living system and and also we want to simulate the, the validity of the of the mathematical model comes through the simulation of the process now it is an interdisciplinary subject where the all the different discipline like biologist physicist chemist all this uh, people will all these uh, expert will will uh, they will they will they will help each other to develop this subject so this all our knowledge is required to understand the process in a better way then we have the different transport processes that is very important transport processes that is involved and sophisticated and advanced control besides the conventional biology that also we are going to explain in this sense so this this course will deal with everything uh, all all this material in details now let me let me give you the uh, details of the course content initially we talk about the my as i told you microbiology biochemistry classification of the byproducts because as far byproducts is concerned we have different types we have low value products high value products medium value products so different classification products we will talk about then we have we shall discuss the stoichiometry of the bioprocess that is also very important thermodynamics of the biochemical reactions which is very important just to understand what is the um, nature of the reaction whether it is spontaneous or it is unfavorable reaction or or also we, we can we, we can find out the to what extent the reaction takes place the so thermodynamics can help us to understand the process in a better way we will we'll, we'll discuss about the kinetics of the homogeneous system and the heterogeneous system both the system will discuss in this in details now in case of heterogeneous system the, the homogeneous system usually take place when the reaction take place in one particular phase heterogeneous system that one phase has to diffuse to the other phase then and only then the reaction take place and after the reaction is over the product has to diffuse from that phase to the other phase so diffusion uh, the uh, phenomena is to be considered during this uh, particular uh, heterogeneous reaction so will be kinetics of the enzyme catalyst reaction then uh, we'll talk, we'll discuss about the we'll we'll discuss about the enzyme catalyzed reaction using the using the uh, free enzymes and using the immobilized enzyme both we can discuss and then kinetics of the substrate utilization 
product formation and biomass production. This is very important aspects as the biochemical processes are concerned, uh, where we use the living cells and then design and analysis of the bioreactors and scale up of the bioreactors that is a great concern how from the large scale we can switch and switch over to the uh, uh, plant scale and a bigger scale that we will discuss in details. Transport phenomena of the bioprocess that uh, how the flow system different flow system I, I, I want to take the momentum transfer, mass transfer and heat transfer how take place in the system that I want to discuss in details. The heat and medium sterilization. This uh, I told you that uh, in the biochemical system, the one important that we want to uh, grow our desired organism. To grow the desired organism, we know envi our environment comprises of different other organisms. So, if uh, the sterility we don't maintain, then we, we cannot uh, allow our organism to grow in that particular reactor. So, sterility is very important factor as the biochemical processes is concerned. This I shall discuss in details. Then downstream processing and effluent treatment processes, process control and biochemical process and operation of the industrial fermenter. And finally, I shall, I shall do the summar summarization of the whole course. Now, the overview of the course is like this. If you look at this, uh, I told you that upstream processing and it deals with the strain selection because uh, the my kind of microorganism that is available that is in two different forms. One is the wild strain and there is the um, industrial strain. Wild, wild strain we cannot use for industrial fermentation process because they, they are very unstable and uh, the industrial strain they have the genetic stability so they have uh, reproducible characteristics. The medium optimization there is another and feedstock collection and sterilization. All these things undergo the upstream processing then in the fermentation or biochemical processes that involve the enzymatic process and the microbial process. In the enzymatic process we have free enzyme, immobilized enzyme and the microbial process we have suspended cell and the immobilized whole cell and also we use the recombinant cell. And recombinant cells so you suppose we want to produce a special type of uh, proteins then we go, go for the recombinant. I can give the example of insulin production that is uh, usually done with the help of recombinant cell. And in the downstream processing basically it deals with the cell disruption, solid liquid separation, concentration, purification, formulation and the effluent treatment. All these different aspects will be discussed in the downstream processing. So, this course will give you the total idea that how the biochemical process can be analyzed and desired that and operate. So, hopefully that this course will be very much useful to all of you and different uh, references uh, 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 book references you, uh, I have given here. So, these uh, books uh, you can consider particularly uh, living spell this is the, the this is chemical reaction engineering I shall discuss about the chem chemical reaction kinetics and uh, re reactor design all these things will be available here. Then uh, Suler and Kargi, this is bioprocess engineering, this is also very important. Then Branch and Glark, that is biochemical engineering, Bailey and all is biochemical engineering, fundamental, fundamental Duran bioprocess engineering and Doctor, this is principles of mass transfer and separation processes. This will be, this will be used for understanding the transport phenomena. Uh, thank you very much.